a bit while uh, more people jump on. I can see there's a lot of eager people here. Um, I'm super excited and super nervous, but um, I'll just give it a few moments before I get started. Let me just make sure I have all of my equipment here to start today's challenge. I think I have everything. Yeah, definitely type in where you're coming from. I love to see where all of you are located. So exciting to see where our community or our audience is um, dialing in from. Okay, hey everyone, it's Tiana from Maniology. And I'm here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. And today a journey it will be. Uh, whether it's a tutorial technique or hack, we're here to discuss the details and I'm so happy that you could join us. So let me move this on the side. You can see I'm kind of prepped and I'm also excited to tell you that I will be doing this manicure on my nails as you can see. Um, I hope Give me some hearts if you're um, a shorty right now. Are you part of the nub club? So normally, um, maybe not normally, but um, lately I have been using tips as you guys have probably seen in the past or if you're just joining uh, me today, I, I do have tips sometimes. But um, I've been kind of resting my nails, part laziness, um, because you know, it does take time. And so I'm gonna be doing these uh, this challenge on my own nails. Yay! We got nubs. Yay, I'm so happy. And I say that lovingly because I, I actually really do enjoy having short nails. Um, you know, recently my nails have not been in the condition I would like them to be. I know there's a lot of things that I probably can do, but I'm really hard on my hands. Um, you know, I'm taking care of a toddler. Uh, doing regular household chores, washing dishes, doing things like that. So um, I find that doing the tips kind of gives me strength. Um, but today we're going au naturel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I'll, before we get into the challenge and I start talking about some other things too, um, actually a little moment of vulnerability. So I hope you guys will just afford me a little moment to tell the story. There was someone on one of our lives uh, that had made a comment about my nails and um, there was a manicure I had done in a video and um, they didn't quite like the way that it came out because my nails looked bumpy and it had ridges. So I won't lie, that particular comment did get in my head. I'm not saying that that's the reason why I use tips, but um, you know, I think kind of flipping the script, it's, uh, you know, um, sometimes people say things that kind of get in our heads, but you know, we are not perfect. And I am also a human being behind the camera. So um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like an empowering moment for me to just show you my natural nails. And, um, you know, that's just the way it is. And, um, you know, I'm not perfect. So, and that's completely okay. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the gamut. Okay, so um, Lucky Clover Nails, it's, um, I don't think I've ever used clovers on my nails. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is it took me a lot of planning. Here's kind of the color palette I was going with, but um, you know, we're gonna do some, I'm gonna whip up something for you today. And I'll be completely honest, I am a Virgo. I like to plan over plan. I'm kind of going in blind today. So wish me luck. I really hope that I can achieve this in 15 minutes. So we're in for a journey for sure. And I'm excited to kind of start this with you guys. And don't worry, you know, that story I just told, um, you know, of course we all 
know that there's people like that out there. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, it's, it's just good to know that, um, we're, we're human and none of us were built perfectly. We're perfect for ourselves and that is what I'm okay with. So you guys should all be okay with yourselves as well. Um, I just wanna show you a few things cause I'm gonna be talking and moving at the same time when I'm doing the challenge. But today I'm gonna to be focusing on um, using this plate. I'm just gonna use this design here, this kind of checkered board design and this is M217. I'm also going to be using this plate as well, and this is M048. So I'm going to be using this cute little clover design here. And I wanted to use this Celtic knot, and this is a plate that just got released. This is M286, and that Celtic knot design right here. Okay, so I got plates. I got my smudge free, I got all my stuff. The colors I'm gonna be using today is, first this green is called Rhine. Don't mind the stickers, this is just for our reference over here. Rhine, I have coconut, and this is gold rush. And actually I'm gonna prep these by opening them. Behind the scenes, I got a few things too, like the smudge-free top coat. Of course, a manicure isn't complete without the smudge-free top coat because I will be uh, stamping today. And um, I will be using Handy Dandy Pink Double-Ended Stamper. I already prepped this to take out um, the small head part. Right, Holly? Gold Rush is, yeah, I use that color all the time. And then I left this finger open so I can show you that I will be using our um, nail protector, our non-latex cuticle tape, which is really fun to use. It is a one-time use product, so if you've never seen this before, let me show you. So each sheet, it comes with 10 pieces because you have 10 fingers. Um, Okay, so let's see, I just take this part off. This thing is very flexible. Might be kind of sticky. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like doing it on my non-dominant hand, right? <laughs> so let's see. Eee. Carefully, I try to center it on my nail like that. Okay, actually, hold on. Yay, Maria, you made it to a live. And don't worry. You know, I know some people, they, they're they like, oh, I'm late, I'm late. You can either rewind this or you can watch it another time. This goes um, straight to our account right after I finish it too. So won't miss anything. So basically what I do is I, this particular design has an M. I tried to center that with my um, my nail bed. And um, I will just stretch and wrap the tips around the finger. Do not forget about the top of your finger, especially when you have short nails. Um, and mine are pretty short right now. You know, there's a lot of mess that can get onto the skin. So if you wanna help to avoid that, go ahead and use the cuticle protector. And there you go, okay. I know I'm gonna have some mess, but that's okay. This will help to uh, contain most of it. And then today, because I only have 15 minutes, I am gonna be using a technique that uses um, the makeup wedges to kind of help the speed, the dry part. Um, I have an old phone here. I'm gonna put 15 minutes on the clock. And are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up, are you guys ready? Oh my gosh, okay, let's take it. A few deep breaths. Yee, I'm nervous. Okay. There you go. Let's put that down. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and use Ryan. I have a normal makeup wedge here. I'm just gonna paint that Ryan color on the back of this makeup wedge. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing this technique and I'm gonna stipple it onto my nail here 
to cover the nail. And also this helps with the drying time as well. Okay. This is just a little technique I like to do. Because my nails are short, I don't have to use too much. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Try to get that as close to the cuticle as I can. Okay. Sorry. I, like I said, we're going off the cuff here. So let's do that. Okay. So one hand down. I know it's still sheer. I'm going to do another coat, but I'm going to let that dry. You don't want to continuously go over all the wet parts without it kind of having a, a light dry layer. Um, the reason for that is because uh, it'll start to get textured and you don't want it to get textured. Okay. Let's try and get that in there. We should do a challenge with some whiskey shots. Is that the comment I just saw? That would make it very interesting. Next time. Let's do that next time. That sounds super awesome. Who's bringing the whiskey shots? <laughs> Maybe that would calm my nerves a little bit, to be honest. I'm sure my husband has some whiskey he could loan me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I forgot to mention the only thing that I have prepped my nails with is a base coat. Before putting on the protectors, that's the only thing I put on my nails. So I just wanted to let you guys know just in uh, transparency. I love our spicy community. I like that. Keep it fresh, right? Okay. So as you can see, I'm doing really light, thin layers. So I'm going like instantly over that. Okay. Let's do the pinky one more time. Again, just reapplying this. I'm just gonna put that on the side right now because um, we don't wanna get rid of our makeup wedges. You can see that this is in a brand new one. I've, re I've used this already. Don't throw away your makeup wedges until you've used like every part you possibly can. Okay, so right now I'm going in with coconut. I'm gonna do the same thing on the ring finger. This is nerve-wracking. My back is starting to hurt. <laughs> so many nerves. <laughs> okay. Let's... Shamrock shakes. Are we talking about actual, like, shakes? Oh, from McDonald's. Is that what that is? I'm trying to keep up with the conversation and pay attention with my nails at the same time, but I got intrigued because I think that was food related conversation. And you know, you know me, food. Okay, I know I should probably let this kind of sit for a little bit, but I'm running against time here. Ah, that's not coming out as opaque as I would like it. And I think the reason for that is because I'm just not waiting for the drying process in between, but we'll see, right? That's why this is a 15 minute challenge. I know I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna just let that sit. Let it sit. Okay, 
the other nails look like they are good to go. So I'm going to go in with my plate. Ooh, when you have these nail protectors, it's kind of hard to lift up the plate there. Actually, I'm going to put my napkin down. You know, lazy. You know how that works. Okay, and let's go in with this design. Now I'm going to go in with Gold Rush. Can you guys see that? my pineapple cotton grabber clean off this plate there. get it ready for my next stump cream color coconut again. See if I can make it a little bit more opaque. Because I don't want it that sheer. There you go. Okay. A little bit better. Still kind of see-through-y. Not exactly what I was looking for. Darn. It's okay. Okay. Let's see how that works. Darn, and that's the nail that I have to double stamp. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't freak out, T. Okay. So we'll just stay with that. Okay. Let me go back in with this plate and stamp another shamrock. This must be so nerve wracking for you guys too. <laughs> okay, there. Can I do it? Let's check the time. Where are we at? Ah! I only have like six minutes and 45 seconds. Oh gosh, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's go ahead and paint this other nail. I'm doing so many things, trying to focus. <laughs> Even if I don't finish this, I wanna at least show you guys what this manicure is gonna look like. My heart is pounding, yeah, mine too, Aisha. <laughs> This is no good for anxiety. <laughs> How many of you guys love that Ryan green? It's a really pretty color. Okay. So should I chance it? No, let's not chance it. Let's just clean the plate. like I know I should, and do it again. Believe me, it's only anxiety inducing if you put on a, a 15 minute challenge like this. Aside from that, nail stamping is really fun. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can um, agree with me on that. And I'm sure if it wasn't for me, okay, I'm gonna take the chance. Why? Because I'm limited on time. Um, yay. And of course, because silly Tiana, I decided to paint all my fingers. You know, this would have been a good opportunity to just do a, uh, 
negative space manicure, you know, a negative base manicure, maybe. No, Tiana had to go full gusto and um, yeah, paint all nails. Silly, silly me. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this grid pattern here. I'm going to stamp that over that. Just kind of gives me like a cute, I liked the modness of this particular pattern. The, the um, lines are thin and it's, it's kind of uh, it whimsical because the lines aren't straight. So it's, it's just kind of fun. Okay. There I go. And, oh, sorry. I'm just gonna do this one off camera because stamping the thumb on camera, kind of tricky. Okay, hope you guys can see that. Eek, okay. See, I'm gonna go in with the Rhine, pick up that Celtic knot design. Let's clean off these other patterns that I don't need. And get that stamped right in the center there. Okay. I hope so far you guys are liking the way that this is turning out. Also, because I feel like a lot of people have been lately asking about um, St. Patty's uh, inspired manicures. So I figured, hey, I'll, I'll try one. And I'm sure if you don't have these plates, you could probably do something for yourself using whatever you do have. So there. Let me do more coconut. Cause I'm I can at least show you on the left hand side what this manicure is supposed to look like. But given the time, I don't think I'm gonna finish because I only have a minute, about two minutes left. So you know, I don't want it to be a crappy looking manicure, right? And I know this one, it's not, uh, I want it, the polish to go a little further down. So I can show you guys what it looks like. I'm calling it in right now, but that's okay. I'm still gonna finish this manicure for you guys, right? Give me some hearts if you guys are cool with that. I think I would have finished it if maybe the background coloring wasn't so crazy. <laughs> completely my error, but you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Why am I dabbing my nails with the sponge? Um, to put on thinner layers of polish onto my nail. Um, actually, if you guys have seen my fall video, my other 15 minute challenge of uh, fall nails, that uh, I, I use the same technique and it worked nicely, but I guess because I'm using these colors and stuff, uh, just didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to. I wanted the colors to be more opaque, so. Yeah, there's some cleaning up to do, but that's okay. Like I said, I'll complete the manicure for you guys, even though I'm not gonna finish it in the challenge time, but that's okay. See, like technically Rhine is supposed to be a darker color, darker than this, um, but I wanted to do thin, even layers of, <laughs> okay, let's, hold on. That's my alarm. So like I said, we didn't make it, or I didn't make it, but that's okay. I'm still gonna complete the design because I feel like I'm practically there. 
I'm just taking off the, the nail protector tape here. Thanks for the support. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm not too downhearted about it, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and complete the manicure. With a little bit of cleanup, I can go ahead and put the top coat for this one. I'm pretty good. There are some parts over here in the nail that I can probably just go with tape. And I am gonna do that because some of the areas are lifting and it's just easier to clean it that way than using um, acetone, so. I recommend that you guys use that too. I have such uh, deep nail wells too. So, you know, sometimes using the acetone, all it does is just smush things around. So I like to use a scotch tape whenever I can. So if I bring this up closer, you can see how I'm bringing up all those little bits. Maybe it's stamping, maybe it's like some loose polish, but it's dry enough that I can actually take it off the skin. But some of this, I, I will have no choice but to just use um, the acetone, so. Mm. So I have my cleanup brush here. I'm just gonna pump it with some acetone. Onto the tip and don't worry, that's not the polish bleeding. There was actually polish on. I mean, I'm sorry, that's not the brush bleeding. It's actually polish that was left on the brush from previous use. So I'm just going to go in and lightly clean up these bits. And I like these kind of, um, this brush because I can get um, inside my deep nail wells. Sometimes I gotta get real deep down in there. Yeah, much nicer. I think I'm jumping ahead of myself, but let's go ahead and finish up this part. Okay, so like I said, the coconut didn't go as deep down, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint. The thumb is so hard for me to paint on camera because I can't lay this part flat. And I have really wide thumbs too. So now this is not just a 15 minute challenge. This is just a Cantiana complete the manicure. <laughs> I think I'll be able to finish this within 30 minutes though. <laughs> Like I said, I, I definitely did at least like three fourths of this manicure. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go carefully complete, um, start cleaning up the rest of his hand. Cause I can't do anything until that coconut that I just applied dries. I have a cut over here. Ow. Yeah, that doesn't feel good at all. Yeah. Oh, heck. That does not feel nice. You guys ever had that happen? 
Yeah, like lemon burning on an open wound. Oh yeah, ouch. That does not feel good. But I do it for our Maniology Live videos. I really appreciate, you know, it's it's coming to that point where we've been doing these lives long enough on YouTube that I do see um, repeat um, audience members coming to our lives. And I just wanted to uh, send a really quick shout out to those who religiously follow us and um, come to our lives every Tuesday. I'm so grateful to have you guys in our community and to be a uh, integral and in, inspirational part of our community and um you guys are just full of positivity and i love that kind of energy so thank you so much for you know spreading your kindness and you know supporting other members and stuff because of course i know we also have some brand new people who are maybe just joining us in for the first time and um you know good vibes go a long way so thank you so much for you know, tuning into us. And I hope you guys are still finding, um, you know, these videos awesome and helpful. Oops. Yeah, don't do that. Keep the brush on your skin. <laughs> don't mess up your, your manicure like that. I got a little, uh, a little overzealous there. But yeah, no, I just wanted to tell you guys thank you. Ooh, I saw somebody had a wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary or happy belated anniversary. That's awesome. My anniversary is coming up soon, actually, too. Um, is it next week? No, two weeks from now. Yep. Been married for so long. I feel like I've been with my partner for so long. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Christine. Happy Women's Empowerment Day. Yep, yep. Love that. Did I see someone was... Aww. You guys have been with your partners for so long. That's awesome. Yeah, finding good partnership is, is hard, you know, especially for the long haul. But I've been, we're gonna be, um, actually, I don't know if I shared the story, so stop me if I did. Um, you know, mommy amnesia here. Or it could just be, you know, Tiana getting older amnesia, which is completely cool too. But um, my monthly anniversary, yes, me and my husband, we still celebrate our um, month anniversary too, is um, on one day. And when we were deciding what our date was going to be, I was telling, you know, my husband, partner at the time, fiance, I was like, let's just make it on the same day because I am really bad with numbers and that means that I would only have to remember one day. Well, you know, in the pro planning process, if any of you have planned a wedding, you know how expensive all of that can be. If you get married on a Saturday, it's even more expensive, you know, all those kinds of things. So we decide to get married the day after. So now I just have to remember the day after. So it's the 21st and the 22nd of March. So the wedding anniversary is actually on the 22nd. And I will be married for 13 years and we'll be together for 17. Yeah, a long time. He scooped me up when I was just a baby. <laughs> so that was just a little bit of story time for you guys. Oh, awesome, Virginia, 31 years. Yee. 
I know my my husband has really nice nails. I should really like uh do his nails. He has beautiful large nail beds. And he works in the service industry too. So I'm like, oh, I think he would be a good candidate for me to like show show off nail stamping. What do you guys think? Maybe I should take a picture and show you guys. <laughs> Okay, so if you're just joining in, or if you guys find this relaxing or whatever, um, I'm just cleaning my nails right now. I'm just letting that coconut or this uh, beige color dry because I had to paint it. Yee. I'm telling y'all, doing this in front of on the camera is so hard. I'm trying to like move in ways that would up normally be up to my eyeball, but I'm trying to do this on the phone. It never gets easier. Oh, I see I got some thumbs up. Thanks guys. This is like the relaxing part, actually. Cleaning. Okay, I think the, the beige part should be done. I know, I've been thinking, I only have a personal account. If, if any of you guys have tried to find me on Instagram, <laughs> which I don't think nobody's looking for me. Um, but I was thinking about putting out a nail account too, just for nail stuff. What do you guys think? You think you would follow me if I had just a nail account? Give me a thumbs up. If you guys have some name ideas, let me know. Maybe I might consider having a, a nail account. So here I'm just stamping this grid pattern from M217. Oh no, I agree, Monica. I have to separate it. Honestly, um, because I post pictures of my son, it's one thing for me to like share it and stuff with family members and things, but um, you know, I don't have to explain it to you guys. Social media gets kind of weird. <laughs> so, you know, I... I I don't want just random people um, following me, so separate would be good. If you guys can give me some really good names, maybe I'll, I'll consider um, starting up a separate account. Oh, did I just see a comment saying that your granddaughters are watching this video too? That's awesome. Can make it a family affair. Okay. There. Tiana's tutorials. That's cute. <laughs> I know having tea with your name is like, I don't know. Of course, it's not like a, if I had an end name, like Natasha's Nails or something like that, you know? It's like tea. What's... Oh, you guys are sweet. And here I am in my own mind. I'm thinking, oh, nobody wants to follow. Who would want to follow the stuff that I do? Tiana's tips. That's cute. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to that Celtic knot.
nails and tails. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead on M286, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that Celtic knot so I can uh, double stamp this design over that grid pattern. I stamp and tell stories. There you go. This is going to be the last step, and then we're going to go ahead and seal it. I don't think I'm going to continue to clean up everything because it's going to be a very, very long video. But I will take a picture of these nails and then also post them on our YouTube community so you guys can see them. And then you can see what the, <laughs> the completed looks like. So right now, this is what I have. I still have to clean the ring finger and the thumb to my liking. Um... But I can show you this, what it looks like right now. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just top it with the top coat. I have my smudge-free top coat here. Okay, let me lift this a little bit so it's kind of like gives me more space. There. Okay, this, this is working a little bit better for me. If you do stamping, you're not familiar with the smudge-free top coat, so important um, to use this when you've completed your manicure. It helps to seal in your design. I'm really enjoying these colors too. Okay, I still see a few areas where I need to clean up, but I just want to show you guys what the final looks like. Just so I feel like it's something has been completed. Right? Okay. So I'm just going to put some of the cuticle oil I have right onto my skin because there's a lot of dry spots. You know, acetone, 100% acetone really, really dries out the skin there. So I just need to re-nourish and rehydrate that part. Okay, let me clean that up so it doesn't look that oily. Look, my skin is saying, yes, give me more. Like, it's just drinking it up in my skin because it's not that oily <laughs> so i think i needed more but what do you guys think give me some hearts or clovers actually give me some clovers if this is a manicure you think that you would do Let me see, can you guys see those clover design stamped in gold? It's a full nail design. I know I have some cleanup left to do, but I'll go ahead and take a very nice picture with this manicure. Again, I know I, I still need to clean this up and I will get to it, I promise, but just not on the video. So I'll take a picture of this and then you can look for the picture in our community and go ahead and give some of your feedback there. You guys are so awesome. I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me even though it wasn't a 15 minute manicure. 
I think if I changed out the colors, I probably could have completed it, but I know you guys are awesome. You guys love to see the stem and the process and stuff. So I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Thank you so much, Dev, for helping me behind the scenes. I see all the clovers here. And um, let me go ahead and clean up some of these bits. And you guys have a picture to look forward to seeing. So thanks so much for sharing this with um, me, sharing your time and being here. And um, yeah, let me see if I can go ahead and get a picture over to our um, Facebook. But get, definitely, definitely, it will be in our YouTube community. I will try for a picture um, definitely by the end of this week, but I'll try for tomorrow. Okay? Thanks, guys. So much for joining. And if you um, enjoy this content, then don't forget to subscribe and share uh, these videos with your family and friends and anybody who loves nails. Take care. See you guys later. Bye.